Hi guys, and today I'm going to be talking about Ride Primus reviewing the Sunland like January transfer window, um, where I think we've done well and where I think we've pretty much sort of improved like more. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first run, run through the outgoing, I mean, well, the ingoing, then the outgoing, and, and tell you my opinion on what I think. So let's get started. So first. Incoming was Kyle Lafty. I think he was good in the first two games that we saw him again against um MK Donaldson Doncaster. On Saturday he weren't that really that good, he was that actually crap pretty much. But I think we had to get somebody like that in as an alternative to Charlie White and kids if he's not fit one time time and we were like the player. Pretty much a long ball up the top, the striker, chests it down and and to one of the wingers or the wing back for something. So yeah. So yeah. And next Billy Wright. Um I think he's a good sign because he came from the championship. So all things you won't get him but schemes, but he was club captain at Bristol City and we need it. Extra like centre back if we wanted to play this way the back because we only have four and if one got into like lunch did on on Saturday and we don't have one to go out for for at least then we've got four like to as well as the stand here to play it. I would say Oz Turk when he's fit, I don't know why he never played on Saturday. It all should also start in the last one out of Flang and Lynch and why you wouldn't in the outfit, so yeah. The next was just going from MKBR. I think we haven't saw like much of him, but when he's on for five minutes against Tramway and everything with all against Portsmouth. Um but from what apparent apparently KPR fans have said it's that that he's a good like he's a championship quality midfielder. What is good so that means to be good in League One. Um, apparently the way to my Robin play much because he fell out of fever to be our fans don't understand why but I will say something about midfield on where I think saying that but wait not got a lot in the transfer window. So yeah. And to the deadline dear science first of all we signed Declan John on the Swansea. I think he was a good sign and because we need a left back for cover slash competition with them viewing because because if we never sign the left back we we'll won't have them viewing for the rest of the season what isn't a good idea they are like to have one left back and all that and John's got something to play for but if anyone's good to you in 2020 in the summer with Will he needs football to be picked and I think it's a good opportunity for both like he said the three both three to have been down to the ground he's paid for I have to agree with, and yes, yes, I think that's a good time. The first time we could play same players this Saturday at home to Ipswich, so we'll see. You'll say if I wanted to play me 11 or on Friday, so yeah. So the final signing was Antonio Semenio on Northern Bristol Lake. Again, against Portsmouth, he barely got a touch, and I think he's. He, he only touched was was like like he just got the ball nicked off him but fine fine maybe maybe because we're getting dominated and saying off he never got to show what was about but let's just forget that game look at the positive he's young and up and coming he's got pierce what we really need it apparently he's got power what something we need so yes, I'm more than happy to have the court. I'm, there's one thing I'm, I am a bit worried about, that he might become another Kaziah Sterling of last season, who just wouldn't like, who just never got a game, but hopefully that won't happen. So yeah, so now I'm going to talk about the outgoing rule we have four. Well, first of all, I'll do that in order. Lawrence DeBock left on loan and went somewhere, I can't remember. Well, I was happy to say DeBock go, because he just weren't like good enough in my opinion. I think his first two games was good against, I think it was 79 at MK Dons, but that's about it. 20 year old left back, like, um, like, beating him. 
pretty much all season. So yeah, then next was Dilma Gayok. Again, again, this was no surprise really, because Dilma Gayok won't get the game. Game pretty much um since since Parkinson came in, I think he might play one or two, but not in the league. Um, I'm pretty much and there's no point being here. Here, if like you're not gonna play a foot football if you get on me. So yeah. So so next was Ida Bagadi on Lone to Charlton. The one disappointing that is the loan obviously because because like which point I'm gonna forget about but 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 I'm happy he's gone because he was a troublemaker and we don't need troublemakers pretty much. He was a good footballer when he wanted to be. He weren't that good this season so and he was crap pretty much so pretty much pretty much hope he does well in what don't so yeah and the last one was Mark McNulty I was pretty sad to see this one go because I would prefer Greg to go but with Matt Nulty, um, he probably wanted to go because he will not get on the pitch I think he only played about half an hour of football in about six or seven games after Christmas but obviously he never like wanted and he was one of the best players like at the start of the season but got a couple of injuries and with Jack Ross getting sacked away, he'd actually want to have a burn you where Jack Ross actually, like, is now. So, hopefully for him, he can bang out a few goals. And so, the two places I am, like, not well, well, the positive that we have plugged, like, the gaps where we need it in the squad. Whether or not the players who were signed are going to be first team or not, we pretty much plugged the gaps as well. All the players are championship. Has dropped down from the championship problem last day who played like high in the league one but my one well i've got two concerns one is our failure to sign a creative midfielder because like if if you play a power and dop and together together it's caught out way too easy as well as well like like that bit isn't good enough anymore so yeah and the proven goal scorer be, because we just haven't Got like enough, and Greg's crap. And um, well, I don't think that Lafty. I think he'll do well, but I don't think he like score enough goals or something. So yeah, and Semenyo is unproven, and White again he's score enough goals. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with my updated League One predictions. So like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.